We're here at AQS Quilt Week in Paducah, Kentucky, and I'm here with another Blue Ribbon winner, Linda Roy from Knoxville, Tennessee, and you won the first place in the Hand Quilted Quilts category sponsored by Arrow Sewing. Congratulations. Thank you, Bonnie. You know what? Your work is always so stunning, and the judges obviously thought this one and was And I'm very too. grateful. <laughs> very grateful. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, where the pattern came from for this quilt. It was inspired by antique pomegranate quilts. I had been looking at them several years, you know, and um, so have looked at antique quilts in shows when they have antique exhibits. Mm -hmm. The color drew me, but I wanted to do my own style, uh, make it my own. And I, I do draw it on graph paper and play it around. I wanted to, uh, this was made in a four block format. Okay. With and so you drew one whole block out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then work within that block to divide it up. And I wanted something to go diagonal. I wanted to draw the eye in a square, diagonally, and to and move so, your and eye. And so this, this actually is, helps draw it in a square, and it's, doesn't and it's, it? And it's on a seam, which oh, I so cut away the seam in the back. It. Yes. Sure. Yeah, it's pieced on a seam there. So everything but the very outside border and that is hand done. Okay. Well, I know that one of the features of your quilts always is that you do the outline around your applique pieces. I do, and it's always quilted, it's always embroidered over quilting. So, it's so it quilted was quilted first. first? Yes. And then and you did the embroidery. embroidery over the top? Yeah, there's more body, and I pick in between the stitches for my embroidery. So the better I quilt it, the better, the smoother the embroidery is. And so is. that's really just a basic outline stitch that's you're doing right. there? Yes. Yeah. Well, now, I ask you the question of, do you mark all of this grid and quilt I it? I did. I marked it before I put the backing and the batting on when it coat, so it would lay flat. Yes, and you use what kind of a marker? The blue uh, mark be gone. Yeah. And then you wash it out afterwards? I, yes, and when I'm finished with the quilt, I actually spin the water out several times, hoping to get all the chemicals out. Well, and one of the things that really is beautiful on this is you've done some hand embroidery here and tell us about that. Um, it's quilted underneath and I did two layers of embroidery to give it a little bit of spark. And you use multiple colored threads. Too, yes, didn't two you? different ones, yeah. And I use Veldani. I like the feel of it and I have a kind of a rustic feel to my quilts. So it's it's not shiny. You know, it's well it's beautiful and you need it you did another beautiful border and you've done lots of Circles, circles, perfect round yeah. circles. The self-stuffed, <laughs> self-stuffed. So that's just the seam allowance is what makes exactly. it look puffy. Exactly, yeah. And they quilted around so they puff up. And then you did lots of stipple quilting in the And background. I used a variegated thread so there's, it shows up a little more than oh, if I used a plain white. What a great kind idea. Kind of a tone on tone. Mm -hmm. Sulky, I like sulky thread for stipple quilting, okay. 12 weight. Mm -hmm. It just fills the space a little yes, better. It, it gives a little body to it. Yeah. Now I know this is a special quilt for you. Yes, yes, I made this for my sister um, who had cancer at the time and it was to go in her home. Yes. passed away as I was beginning it actually. Well, yeah. congratulations on your blue ribbon. Thank you, Bonnie. appreciate it. And we hope that you'll enter your quilts in the AQS Quilt Week. And better yet, come to the show and you can see these quilts in person.